the reverse or switching the feet, whatever you like to call it. One of the things you're going to learn, it's a tricky thing and a tricky position to hit. I'm not trying to scam anybody here. But what you want to understand is that if you're lining things up, it becomes easier. And then we're going to talk about in this video, a couple of key things to keep in mind to help make that easier. So here we go. Check it out. So in today's video, what we're gonna talk about is the reverse, understanding how we switch our feet as we go through. So a lot of throwers are non-reversers. If you look at our classic non-reversers, Sandra Perkovich, Robert Harding, Lars Riedel, all these great throwers come to mind. But when you look at your reversing thrower, we're looking at, let's look at Alekna Cantor. We're looking at Daniel Stahl. We're looking at Frederick Dakers. We're looking at all these different elite throwers. And again, there's your reverse. One of the things that makes reversing hard, some people teach the jump and switch the feet. Now I understand the logic that that was actually how I was taught to throw, but I don't agree with how that method works. What we want to do is we don't want to jump and turn in the air. We want to be able to work the ground. So if you look at your reversing throwers, one of the things that they really do is as they, they elevate. And one of the things we do in our system is a heel up and push. If you look at our push pivot drill, you're going to see what we're talking about push versus pivoting. And we want to keep that knee moving. So we're moving the delivery side into the throw. Now, one of the things that we kind of talk about, one of the easy ways to train our reverse is that we train our throwers to move through the block. So they're going to keep the block on the ground and they have to get used to the concept that the throw keeps moving and we time the block leg. Now there's a lot of sequential things going on here. What we're looking at is really position of the upper body. If we have the shoulders opening as we come for what we refer to as our pillar five, six, pillar five is where we're creating more of this pushing motion and the delivery side out and into the throw. And so if we open the shoulders into delivery too soon, we tend to pull. And so even though we're creating push and on here, do you notice where the hips are facing? So we're trying to get that hip into the throw so we can accelerate the hip through the finish. Now, again, if you look at some of your best non-reversers, they come through and there's like a follow through. So if you look at like Robert Harding or Perkovich, you're going to see that they come through the throw and you're going to watch the, the hip elevation and it still, it moves into the block this way. And so you'll tend to see them come through, but reversing throwers are going to put that foot down more closed so they can activate that block and push the delivery side in. And so a simple tip that we use to help throwers and that we want young throwers and coaches to practice is that the throw doesn't stop here. The throw stops the delivery side moves through and past the block. So again, if we look at from this angle, if you look at my delivery side moving here, the hip is moving this way. So my hips are actually facing to the left of the center line. And that's really critical. So as I pull into the throw and I keep moving the hips through, you're going to notice that the motion I'm showing you becomes very easy. You're going to see that reverse coming through. So switching the feet or reversing, however you want to refer to it, that's the major thing that we want to be focused on. The thing that we're going to do again, we're thinking about reverse next time you're in practice and you're trying to work on it, push the hips. Don't think finish the throw at six o'clock, accelerate the delivery side in past your block. And that's what you're going to also notice is going to help. You're going to see the block arm stopping. You're going to see that long position. Again, where does these things go? If we're looking at our throw again as a chain reaction, what we set up prior to is going to make that possible. If we're doing something like the back end where we're not sweeping correctly and we're shifting, that reverse is going to become next to impossible because your body's not in a position to allow the reverse. So one of the things is if you're training and you have a big time problem with the reverse, you're going to want to be real conscious of understanding understanding that you're just in the wrong position and you're shifting out of our pillar five. So you're basically bypassing your five and you're going right into six, which causes a late block. Hips are here. And so what happens is, is throwers come off and they may not be throwing sector fouls because they're over pulling the discus, but you're losing all the ground contact and you're losing and it's becoming an arm throw and you're just decelerating the implement again and you're not going to benefit from the reverse. We'd recommend things like the drill down. We'd recommend at your sweep position and understanding those common issues with over rotation and that sort of thing. Because if you're falling off the discus, you can't get your hips through again. If you're falling here, you're going to be falling at the front. And that's one of the biggest things that we try to teach in throwing chain reaction. So remember that hopefully this 
this is gonna give you some insight and help on understanding how the reverse works. But for those of you, again, that are having a really hard time reversing, just understand that it has more to do with the fact that you're out of position and you can't get the hip through. And when you're in a more aligned position, you're seeing, drill, you're seeing the position of the delivery side coming through, you can actually turn past. One of the other things, again, is remember to keep moving past the block so you're gonna see that type of finish. Okay, so if you like today's video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, comment below on any other videos you'd like to see. For those of you who are watching on a consistent basis, watching, downloading, and don't subscribe, please hit that subscribe button, but we're glad you're watching and getting a lot of information out of this as well. So thanks so much, we'll see you on the next video. Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the throwing chain reaction system. Thanks so much for watching.